but the other one's bigger, the other one's dead, and the other one's mine. Dining room tables can be very much a part of any hunt, and heading into the Arizona desert for an extended trip requires close detail of all your equipment. Glenn Coolahan helps Brian sort through the gear and weigh the heavy pack. Right. Yeah. Six. 106 plus the gun. Drawing a desert sheep horn tag comes as a reward to only a few hunters. Dedication and luck both play a big role in the drawing process. Brian Martin pulls a tag with nine points going into the draw. Arizona is a premium location and we should be honored to join him. Hey done. We, We're right a, here. Yeah, this is an area we can hunt in a couple of days, so I want to go down and hunt Sunday Pass down. We'll just cut over to there. How far is that? One, two, three, five. four. Five miles over. No matter how you do it, once you get across here, you're looking at about a mile and a half to two miles. We want to go, let's back. go down one more mile, and that'll put us kind of where that big, the biggest shadows are down there, right across there, and then we'll cut up to Sunday. Sunday Pass is between the White Rock and the Black Rock Mountain. Yeehaw! You need Clorox bottles to make it look authentic. That weight in the arm is tough. Yeah. Packing water would make you careful with its use. Well, for some of us anyway. <laughs> Half the audio will have God, to be removed. it. Jesus, we just had the hardest job carrying it in. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, like <laughs> water's no big deal. He's coming here for a bird bath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While the white gas or Coleman fuel heats the water, the guys talk about the promising reports of a few big rams. December nights in the desert can be brisk, but nothing like a northern hunt can bring. With the sun rising fast, the guys want to hurry and start glassing for sheep. Preventive maintenance. Actually, my feet are good, but you never know what they'll be like three days from now if you don't do this. Then once it's stop when they're all sweaty and do it. striking out across the desert, and it's not long before they discover a unique rock arrangement. They ask, is it a grave? No, it must be a trail marker of some kind, and the guys forge on. How many times has an animal disappeared on you? Well, finally we found the spot. You won't believe it, but the hole in the ground has been discovered. Now cresting the ridge to glass, the guys get ready for a long day. Early morning light makes it easy to spot game, but the dark shadow areas require good glass on a steady tripod. All right, we pack as much weight tripod as we get to I think I might see his ass, see where the big thumb is. In the shadow? Yeah. The big thumb shadow. Go straight up the edge of the thumb back into that green sh and right in that draw. Day two of our hunt, but day three of our hike. And yesterday we saw one good ram in the morning, but we never got a good look at him, never could find him. Last night, uh, Glenn spotted a real nice ram by you, and then two other rams were around the corner. One was a really nice ram, and we got a little bit of footage of him. He comes up level with the bridge of the nose and tips out. It's hard to say how big he is, but he would de definitely be a book ram. But this area has the potential of offering bigger rams than that. And since I'll never get drawn in Arizona again, we want to make sure we get as big, a, you know, as nice and big a one as we can. And we have 28 more days to hunt. It's actually 27 more days after today. So <clears throat> we got a lot of time. We saw four rams in one day, which is really good for desert sheep hunting. Right now we're about eight miles in, and we have about four and a half gallons of water that we each packed. Fire ants. Are they taking that down the hole? I think so. They don't move very fast. Probably cold weather for them. Teamwork. Looks like they make a big pile of it. There's a dead one being carried by another one. The one carrying it too has a big old 
big old mouth on him. Today we haven't seen any sheep. Yesterday we didn't see any new sheep other than the ones we saw the night before. So that's desert sheep hunting. Um, the animals are scattered far and few between in, in places. But we've seen some, you know, there's definitely a sign here. It's a huge mountain range. It's over 30 miles long. And there's a lot of country we have to see. I mean, to hunt the whole mountain range probably would take you over 30 days. And there's four or five mountain ranges in this unit. So to give you an idea how big the country is, it's definitely not easy hunting, but it's very fun hunting. There's two nice rams bedded right there, that draw not quite a mile from here. Both are really nice. Both could be shooters. We'll get closer and see what we can see. What we have here, boys, is a couple of very fine desert sheep. Ram on the top, comes around a bit further. Not as old, not quite as heavy a based. Probably won't score as well, maybe a prettier ram. The bottom one is some big chips, beautiful sheep. Minimum 10 years old, I'd say. Hard to say for sure, but that's what I'd say. They're in a really, really good spot to see everything, except me. I got him, oh my gosh, he just dropped. That was one dead desert sheep. <laughs> Woohoo, all right. That's 25 days of hunting. Well, not quite 25 days. We had four or five days of travel and shower and rest days in between. Holy cow. He's a big old boy. Well, it was December the 25th, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, this is my, I guess it's my, my Christmas gift to myself, I guess. Um, finally got my desert sheep. This is my Grand Slam Ram. Um, the season started December 1st. This, this ram and the ram we saw the very first night are probably the best two rams I've seen. This is the 25th ram. He's probably a minimum of 12 years old, maybe 14. So he's probably the best ram to shoot. So he's a great ram. As you can see, very heavy. He's broken on his right side a bit. Some really big chips out of his horns. Here's a good back view. See the chips here. He's just a neat ram. The other one's bigger, the other one's dead, and the other one's mine. 